Democrats are pulling out the big guns to try and keep the 7th congressional seat. Former President Bill Clinton was in Battle Creek tonight, attempting to get out the vote for Mark Schauer. 24-Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks has more on what the former president had to say. Certainly a big name to have brought in, and if everything went their way, hundreds of people left here motivated to motivate others to vote for Democratic candidate Mark Schauer, and in a broader sense, to vote for continued Democratic control of Congress. They hope that two more years they can get to continue to fix problems that they say were caused by the Republicans. For Congressman Mark Schauer and President Bill Clinton. A big name on the stump for a tight race. Former Democratic President Bill Clinton made his final Michigan stop of this day in Battle Creek. He clearly came to inspire. Unlike his opponent, he believes we can build a clean, independent energy future and liberate America. A tightly packed room and hot as Mark Schauer signs turned into fans and President Clinton gave reasons for voters to choose Democratic candidates again, in spite of current dissatisfaction of conditions now that is widely reflected in polls. We're on the way out of the hole. All we're asking for is two more years. That's four years. We're asking you for half as much time to get out of the hole as you gave the Republicans to dig it. The former president has been to Battle Creek before. He was here in the mid-90s to stump for Congressman Shower then. You have to support your congressman, and you should tell every young person in this district about that bill. Just a few minutes away as people lined up to see the former president, opponent Tim Wahlberg wasn't changing his game. Volunteers filled the office after some time on the streets of Battle Creek to make phone calls for his campaign. Wahlberg says the big name is a desperate move in the last leg of the race. And to have Clinton come in, there's a, a last-ditch hope that some excitement might develop over him because of, uh, of Bill Clinton, but I don't think that's going to happen. Mark Schauer found out Clinton was coming just this past Wednesday, hoping the name that some say represents when things were good does something good for him on November 2nd. I think he came in and talked about the choice, and that's what this election is about. It's about uh, former Congressman Tim Wahlberg, who is out of touch, supports economic policies that failed and, and cost us jobs and dug us into this hole in the first place. And, you know, I want to move forward. And with that, the former president moved on. This was his third stop in Michigan today. He left here to head straight from Minnesota to campaign for a Democratic candidate there. Of course, you decide in about nine days on November 2nd for Decision 2010. So how will President Clinton's visit impact this tight race? Political reporter Rick Alvin breaks it down. Former President Clinton has moved on as he continues to travel the country, not just Michigan, trying to help Democrats win election or re-election in the U.S. House and Senate. Today he was focusing on the 7th Congressional District, where our latest epic MRA numbers show the Democrat incumbent Mark Schauer at 45 percent, Republican Tim Wahlberg at 39 percent. Remember, it was Schauer who beat then-Congressman Wahlberg two years ago, and this seat has turned over every two years for the past several election cycles. There's a margin of error here of 4.9 percent. So why does a president who has been out of office nearly 10 years care about the 7th congressional district or any congressional district? Well, it's obviously because Democrats have a big majority in the House right now. If everyone elected was serving, it'd be 179 for Republicans, 256 for Democrats. There are some vacancies, but this is how the numbers would shape up. Republicans are hopeful of moving this line further this way, getting more numbers here and reducing numbers for Democrats. Democrats working just the opposite and they've made President Clinton the point person. So who will win that battle? Well, right now there's no way to know. But on election night, you'll find out first as we continue the most comprehensive coverage of Decision 2010 with our election night coverage. And of course, we'll be covering Decision 2010 between now and then. Thanks, Rick. And of course, make sure to join us Tuesday night for a special edition of To the Point, the race for governor. You'll see extensive interviews with both Republican Rick Snyder and Democrat Verge Bonero.